Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial you're gonna learn exactly how you can create this blog post layout using the DV theme. So we will create this layout that will be applied to all the different posts. All the new posts that you're gonna publish will have the same shape. So without further ado, let's start building our custom blog. Okay, so what we need first, we need to go to DV, click on theme builder. And here we need to create a new template. You don't need to add a global body because this will apply to all the website. But in our case, we just need to build a template for the blog posts. So that's why you're going to create a new template. So click on plus, build a new template and select all posts or blogs. If you have any, if you want your template to be shown for only specific categories, you can also select that from here or do you have specific tags or specific posts, etc. So for our case, I'm just gonna give it for all uh, posts and all blog posts. So, and then click create. And now just to click on add custom body. All right, so let's start building our custom layout. Uh, so for the first section, I want to, to have the post title here. So I'm gonna add a row. And inside this row, I'm going to search for post title. So post title is only appeared in the template because this is a dynamic. So it will be uh, like for each post, it changes according to the post title. Okay, for this section, I'm just going to go to elements. I'm going to hide meta, high featured image because I just want to have the title here. And I'm going to click save. Now I have my dynamic title here. I'm just gonna add a background image here. So go to background, background image, add a new one. So I'm gonna add this one. Okay, good. Add my title is uh, not appearing, so I may change the color and the styling of it. So click on the setting, I'm gonna redo the thing. So click on the setting of the module, the gray one. And then you can go to design or just hover on the text and you're going to see this pen. You see, click on it and it will take you directly to the title text styling. So you can change the font from here. Like, uh, for example, if you have a specific font, you can change it. You can change the weight. I'm going to put it, for example, semi bold. And here for the text color, I'm going to just pick white. I may increase the size for 30, 35, I suppose 32 is good. Okay, perfect. My title is good. Okay, so then I'm going to add another section. And inside this section, I'm going to put a regular one. And I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose this one. For the first, uh, column I'm going to put the featured image first so I'm going to search for post title because post title already contains the featured image but the thing is I'm going to hide the title I'm going to hide the date you can put the date uh, the category the author uh, the blah comments count I'm going to hide it I don't need it show featured image okay good and save changes. Now I have my featured image and enter the featured image. I'm just going to search for post content. Okay, good. So this is how the content should look like by default. So you have uh, the heading one style, the content style, etc. So we're going to uh, customize that based on our website. So I'm going to click on module setting. And as you see, like there is these kind of pen, so to customize each heading or each uh, content by itself. For me, for the heading one, I'm gonna customize. I'm gonna change the color. Let me take the color of this one. Okay. So I want my heading to have this blue color. I'm going to change the weight, semi bold. Okay, good. You can change like the size for each heading. 
but I'm gonna keep it for the other one. I'm gonna keep it like that. It's okay. Uh, again, I'm gonna go to heading two. The same thing. You just need to change from here. So you don't have to close and then click on the pen. You just need to click on each two and it will be changed. The same thing. I'm gonna add the same color for heading two. I'm gonna change the weight. Semi bold. I may change the size, maybe 28. Good. I'm gonna go to heading three as well. Mm hmm. Semi bold. Heading four. Like you can customize however you want. I'm just testing to let you know how this works. So you you have the freedom to customize to any color, any weight. Um, you have all the options here, the line height, the spacing, etc. Okay, heading 5. You can continue because my blog post won't contain heading 5 and heading 6. Because I may only use heading 2, heading 3. Heading 1 is just for the title. Um, and that's it, I'm not going to continue here. So I'm just going to hit save. And let's go to editing now the content. So for the text, I want to have the text to be black. I want to change the font. For example, for enter, or you can change like from the list. You have all the different layouts, uh, all the different fonts here. So I'm just going to select this one. If you want to increase the size, you can do that. I'm going to place 15 and that's that's it. Save changes. Also, I'm going to make sure that the post content size is 100%. So I'm going to go back to setting, design, search for sizing. Make sure that it's 100 and hit save changes. Okay, good. Okay, now let's go to the second column, which is the will be the sidebar. So in the first uh, module, I'm gonna place the logo. So search for image, search for select your logo. Mine will be this one or this one. Okay, good. Like you can customize it from design, so I'm going to make this size a little bit smaller, 80%. Okay, so uh, I'm going to add next a text under the logo. So hover on the logo on click and the plus, plus sign. So text. You can Then you can place your preferred text here, like an introduction about your blog, uh, maybe an author. Um, information about the author, etc. So I'm just going to place it like that for me. I'm going to go to design, text. I'm just going to put the text to black. And maybe I will just change the font weight, semi bold. Or maybe like the regular one is much better. Okay, then I'm going to place social links, social media follow. Maybe I will add Instagram or Google account. And you can, for each one, you can paste the needed link. Like you can go back, select Facebook, for example. Scroll down, you're going to find link and paste your link. And then after you finish, just hit on save changes. After that, you may add the sidebar as well. So this sidebar is from the widget area. So you can go and select, like create your widget area from appearance. So I'm just going to go back and show you how we can create. Now to create widgets, we need to go appearance and go to widgets. And scroll down and we need to add a new widget name. For example, this one sidebar tutorial, we can name it like that. Hit create. The sidebar is already created. You can just refresh the page. 
to see it. Scroll down and there it is. Okay, now inside of it, you can place a search, for example, search um, form, like, for example, search for blog posts. You can, you can like, um, change the placeholder here, customize it, etc. You can all, we can also add another one, for example, recent, recent posts or latest posts. And that's it. We, for my case, I just need two elements. Uh, after we finish, just hit update. Okay, let's go back to our blog layout. Don't forget to hit save. And now when you go to search again, okay, it doesn't appear. So maybe we just need to save and refresh. But before we need to refresh again, this is really important. Click on the close button and save changes. If you refresh without clicking on save changes, you may lose all the content. So make sure that you do that. Go back again. And now let's go back and search for our new sidebar tutorial. As you see, it's already created. And that's it. Like we can also customize these two sections, two widgets. From just clicking on the pen, going to design, for example, you can put the color body text uh, black. If you have any other, like for example, the font, I'm just gonna put it enter. And after you finish, just hit on save changes. Okay, one last thing I'm gonna add. Uh, just below the content, I'm going to add another module called comments. So these are the comments that uh, like by are commented by people or on every blog post. So I'm just going to customize this section. Like you can customize the title, customize the comments, the uh, submit, the placeholder of the comment, etc. So I'm just going to go fast so i'm just gonna give it for example grayish color okay okay i'm gonna search for the button okay i'm gonna give it black uh, i'm gonna make it a little bit smaller give it a border radius And that's it, save changes. Okay, good. Now our layout is somehow ready. So I'm just gonna make sure that the sizing is good. So it's 80% as you see in the desktop version. So I'm just gonna try to increase that. So it doesn't want to increase because it has a max width. So I'm just gonna place it on, on, or you can change this one to 90% and play with this one. I would love to have 80. And this one as well should be 80. So we need to apply the same sizing here. I'm gonna place here 90%. And this one is 80. Good. So as you see, like the title and the featured image is lined. Okay, perfect. Now, as we finish, we just need to hit on the three dots and then go to save changes. Again, I'm going to close this one and hit on save changes again. And that, that's it. Okay, good. So let's try our new blog layout. So to do that, I'm just going to go and create a new post. So I'm going to go to post, add post. And for this, we're going to use the default editor because we already have the templates ready, the layout. 
so we're just gonna use this one so i already prepared the blog post so i'm gonna just copy and paste to make it shorter for us so this one and paste i need to make sure that the title are h2 h2 here h2 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 also uh, don't forget to add the featured image so go to post set featured image and i'm gonna add this one as you see i didn't change any color i didn't add any customization i just pasted the content changed some tags etc so i'm gonna just publish and we see how this blog post would would look so publish and as you see i'm gonna click on just view post and that's it as you see our now blog post is already changed as you see it's applied so we have the the title here the featured image here the sidebar here the latest blogs as you see the h2 are changed to blue everything that we did customize in the blog or uh, theme builder is already applied like the font the, the the everything also this one so that's it okay so that's it so that was how you can create your custom blog layout using the DV team. Of course, if you have any more changes, you can go back to Theme Builder, edit the post, the blog post uh, body, and customize it, customize it however you want until you find the one that fits your website. Uh, also, I, this template or this layout is also available on my website, uh, websitemakers.com. Uh, also soon I will dropping another video showing you guys how to create a custom archive page using the DV team. So we will create something like that where we can show the latest articles in this shape, etc. So we came now to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and drop a comment if you have any questions and see you guys in the next video.